My grandfather actually was a carrot, but I never knew that until I became a grown man. We don't come to take the language because we didn't have no book of it. We had no one to teach us. People never used to recognize us as we was from the, the country part. They say they are cannibals. Do you still experience discrimination? Well, yes, I do. I go to school sometimes and people say, look, that's a Caribbean. So they make fun of you like that? Yeah, they do. The British take the girlfriend from St. Vincent to make us disappear. Any remnants of the Garifuna civilization, of the Caribbean civilization, completely wiped out. No history, no language, no culture, nothing at all. So we are left as a people with nothing to hang on to. That was a very devastating time. Doing a pilgrimage like this is an opportunity to heal, to recognize that 215 years we could come back. My Kalinaro people, my Caribs, you show me St. Vincent, my heritage. Oh, amen. I really like the day come when we had this sense of pride. We could dance our dance on the street. We could sing our songs, our traditional songs. I will like the day when those who are exiled and those who live in here see ourselves as a nation of people, the Garifuna nation, Kalinago nation, Yurume, our homeland. <laughs> 